Hi guys, so I have a beautiful patient today who allowed us to videotape her treatment. Uh, I have previously, we've had, we've had her lip filler dissolved and now I'm gonna re-inject her lips because I didn't like the projection that she had and the shape of her lips uh, after she was injected by uh, another provider somewhere else. So today what we're gonna do is put Wrestle and Kiss into her lips and then I'm gonna take a little bit of high G prime wrestle and lift and put a little bit in her cheeks, her piriform and her chin. Kind of describe it as the picture frame for the picture, the picture being the lips, the frame being everything else around it. And so you're gonna see that combination treatment using wrestle and kiss and wrestle and lift. So what I did on her was I used Wrestle and Lift and I put a little bit of Wrestle and Lift into each cheek and piriform. Then I did Wrestle and Kiss and you saw me, I put, I used a cannula to put the kiss deeper and give some projection to her. And then I used a needle to inject the, the Wrestle and Kiss superficially to shape the lip as well. And I put a tiny bit of Wrestle and Kiss at the, around the corner of the mouth and as well as in the chin there as well, what we had left over. And then I finished up by doing, injecting a little bit of botulinum toxin disport around the upper lip to relax the orbicularis and give her a little bit of a lift and in increase in height as well with that. Hopefully that also allows the filler to last a little bit longer. Uh, so that's kind of how I treat the lips. Um, you can look here, uh, if you're very gentle, there's minimal bruising, swelling, bleeding. Uh, very natural result. And you can see big smile for me. Her smile is preserved, relaxed for me. And open your mouth again. You can still see her teeth after her injections and she can properly close her mouth as well. That's a normal treatment. Not a lot of what I see in Miami, which is a lot of overfilled lips uh, with very stiff products. Stiff swollen lips is what I see in my knee and hopefully this is not what, what that is.